Greetings, dear viewers. I'm Coil Quickcard, and welcome to World of Warcraft Classic Season of Discovery. Today is special. Today I am going to attempt an actual summoning ritual with the aid of my good orcish friend here, Dewcaller. Mountain Dew is having an interesting promotion. They have an AI bot scouring Twitch looking for Mountain Dew logos. And then it might raid those channels. I cannot possibly turn down the opportunity to participate in something so truly stupid. So I am going to start playing this warlock and every time I level up I will escalate my ritual until I can summon forth Mountain Dew. And so let the first step begin. Behold. Let the ritual commence. Long ago, the Orcish Horde was corrupted by the Burning Legion and lured to the world of Azeroth. For generations, the Orcs made war upon the human kingdom of Stormwind and Lordaeron. Though the Horde was ultimately defeated, a visionary young war chief named Thrall rose to lead his people in their darkest hour. Under Thrall's rule, the Orcs freed themselves from the chains of demonic corruption and embraced their shamanistic heritage. After years of wandering, the Orcs founded their own kingdom in the harsh wastelands of Durotar. That they did. The warrior city of Orgrimmar. They stand ready to destroy all who would challenge their supremacy. As a proud defender of Durotar, it is your duty to crush your enemies, both seen and unseen. For the nefarious agents of the Burning Legion still wander the land. Very well. Now I can begin this properly. For the Horde. I have always had an interest in mysticism and Sub -sub. ritual. Specifically Go from the perspective forth. of anthropology, history, I see it as a way of understanding and studying culture. And I absolutely love it. And even more so, I love fiction. I love fantasy. I love magical systems. And when I heard about what Mountain Dew was doing today, I could not turn down the possibility of performing a ritual which had an actual, real chance of conjuring up a non-human entity. That's just something you can't pass up. Plus, it sounded like it would make a very interesting video. So, here I am, killing boars. As is my want in life, apparently. And yes, I did roll a warlock just in keeping with the summoning theme. And yes, I did name it Dewcaller and shade it as close to Mountain Dew Green as I could get. Because surely, when you're performing rituals, every little bit helps, right? <sighs> 
I have been enjoying Season of Discovery so far. Uh, I've been maining a hunter over on, uh, yeah, whichever server it was. Been quite enjoying it. I mean, obviously, why wouldn't I enjoy leveling a hunter? They're slightly overpowered? And by slightly, I mean I think they've been hit with, like, no less than four cataclysmic uh, hot patch nerfs in the less than a week since release. Which, honestly, is just hilarious to me. But that's just how hunters roll. Come on. Die. Die, you model boar. I haven't actually explored much of the, uh, of the new warlock options. I do know that the, uh, hunters got explosive shot, which for a while there was just absolutely crazy. All right. We have reached the second level. It is time to escalate the ritual. I have not yet called upon Mountain Dew. Perhaps I simply do not have them represented well enough. Let us add to the pot. There. Perhaps by increasing the number of uh, products on the screen, I can better entice Mountain Dew into my channel. Just need a few more heads. There's a target. Go, and go, and go. Much better. Ow! Oh, jerk. How dare you. Okay. Perfect. That's two heads. Head! This is probably the best thing about Classic, is just being able to work together in groups. There's a, a social and community aspect to Classic that is uh, very much absent in retail versions of, of uh, Warcraft. D sir? Sir, please, please help me, sir. There we go. That's level three. And perfect. First three quests are completed. I have hit level three. And that means it is time once again to escalate the ritual. Clearly, merely showing the products in front of my ritual circle is not sufficient. I must add more. So, the first thing I will add is there. We'll just pretend that that qualifies as incense. It's hard to see, but there's a... Uh, it's a nice, uh, nice oil infuser. Very relaxing. Or, in this case, being utilized in order to fill the room with my arcane power. That I might summon forth the might of the soda magnate. And I'm going to hit level four real damn quick, aren't I? <laughs> it's too far away. Hmm.
Oh my god. Uh I uh I believe I just summoned Mountain Dew. That's a hell of a thing. I did not expect that to go that easily. Come on. Ah, someone else is killing my scorpids. Um... That's kind of weird. I, I, I'm gonna be completely honest here. I really, you know, th there's a significant part of me that really did not expect this to work. Uh, and yet, there's Mountain Dew Gaming in my chat. Hey, in order for you to be pushed to the queue, you'll have to type yes twice. Uh, we'll be hitting level four soon. Oh! Oh dear god. Okay, uh, Mountain Dew Gaming says heads up. Less than 60 minutes to go before you're live on the shelf. Um... Reply yes for a chance to be featured on the Twitch homepage. Sure. I'll take that chance. I am genuinely in disbelief that this is working. If I get my, my like, big break as a content person... Because I did a summoning ritual to conjure Mountain Dew. Well... You know what? No, that's a great way to do it, because it's just a tremendously fun story. Oh, but I hit level four, and that means it is time, once again, to escalate the summoning ritual. Oftentimes... The strength of a ritual can be correlated with the purity of the material utilized in that ritual. The space, the components, and the practitioner themselves. Now, there are many different ways through many different cultures and many different times that this kind of ritual purity is achieved. However, Across many cultures, you will very commonly find three substances which are associated with ritual purity. The first is water. And the second is salt. And so, these components, too, have now been added to the ritual. Let us continue and work toward level five. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm just... Um... I'm in a mild state of disbelief. Busy. Leave me alone. I, I, I I kind of gave myself odds of less than one in a hundred that this had any chance of actually working. Oh man. Raw. Strength. Lazy peons, you need the pick. Where are the candles? I only just hit level five. In fact, 
because I have just hit another level, it is time once again to escalate the ritual. As I said last time, there are three things which are almost universally associated with ritual purity across many cultures and across the centuries. First being water, the second being salt. And the third is, in fact, fire. Let's adjust that slightly. Make sure I get all of these in frame. Yeah, that works. This is my lighter. It works by generating an electrical spark. I love this thing. These have not been used in a long time. And I would say that a summoning ritual is the perfect time to use them. And so the ritual has been escalated we now have water, salt, fire, incense, more or less, the ritual circle. And we already know that Mountain Dew is coming. Let's continue and see if we can reach level six. Some new pants, always appreciated. May your blades never know. It can be hard to spot enemies in the water, so it's always good to just tab target as you move around. Good. Okay. Uh, apparently I'm getting raided in less than five minutes. So that's a thing. Well. If that is the case. I suppose I should carry out the next step of the ritual now. You see, there is one more essential component to ritual that is very important. And that is sacrifice. Significant choices have to be made. Significant acts must be taken. And indeed, I am prepared to make my sacrifices for almighty Mountain Dew. That's a dinosaur. And there it is. I have now hit level six. And it is time for the ritual to escalate once more. Sacrifice is an essential component of ritual. It is the act of willingly offering up something, of through that loss, empowering the forces that you seek to evoke. I am afraid that even to conjure Mountain Dew There are sacrifices that must be made. And so, with the spilling of this code red, let Mountain Dew be 
summoned into this place! That did not work as well as I had hoped. <clears throat> it is done. The blood of the innocent has been spilled. I call upon the Mountain Dew to appear before me and grant me your favor. I beseech you with your mighty soda powers. Bring me what I have so long desired. Bring me an audience ha <laughs> <laughs>